Hi, this is Randy Wimmer with Government Contracting Academy, and this is tip number three of the top 10 mistakes to avoid when you're launching a federal government contracting company. I call it embrace the suck. So what am I talking about when I'm saying embrace the suck? Find that one thing that you hate doing worse than anything else and do it. Because that's more than likely that one thing that you really should be doing um, or it's that one thing that's preventing you from being successful. I'm going to tell you what it is for most people. Now, again, I've been I've been helping aspiring entrepreneurs for for you know over a decade now, and this is what I've experienced. I know people who would run through a burning building. <laughs> I am not joking. They would run through a burning building before they would pick up the phone and call a potential customer or a potential partner. Why? Because of their fear of rejection. They are terrified of being rejected by somebody. Well, <laughs> that's the reality of entrepreneurship. In entrepreneurship, they don't count your losses. They don't count your strikes. They don't count your missed swings. It's not like baseball. It's not like you're three strikes and you're out. And It's not like that at all. They only count your hits. So get up there and swing as many times as you can. Get those strikes. Nobody cares. They're not being counted. If they don't need your service, they don't want to partner with you, so what? Move on to the next person. That is not your metric of success. Your metric of success is only, is only your, your hits. So um, you have to, I call it invest, invest emotional equity into it, into to being a successful entrepreneur. I, I like the term embrace the suck better, but what you're really doing is you're investing emotional equity. I tell people to take pride in the fact that you're doing something that very, very, very few people are willing to tolerate the pain threshold for. When I wrestled in high school, man, it was miserable. I was cutting weight, you know, working out like crazy, and then, you know, wrestling is not a friendly sport. My son, he rode crew and geez, I have to think it's even worse. So, but those type of sports, you actually take pride in it, that you're doing it and other people can't. So uh, tip number three, embrace the suck. Do the things that you're hesitant to do because that's likely the things that are holding you back. And invest emotional equity in your success and it'll happen.